More than a year after a spotlight on America investigation highlighted dangerous levels of toxic metals in baby food, Congress is now investigating and the Food and Drug Administration is laying out a plan to lower exposure. National investigative correspondent Josie Sturman digs into the disturbing new findings. They're sparking action to protect babies and young children. Mealtime for Maggie Gross's two small kids is a study in nutrition. I'm an ingredient and label reader religiously. But there's something even the most diligent moms like Maggie will not find on the label of many baby foods available on major store shelves. Dangerous toxic metals like arsenic, mercury, cadmium and lead. People are concerned. When That's because of the lack of regulation, which we highlighted in a Spotlight on America investigation last year. But now, thanks to a new government study, the issue of heavy metals hiding in baby food is finally getting attention. I guess what was just so different about this one was that the levels of the heavy metals were so high that it was kind of crazy, so it's pretty alarming. Alarming results from a congressional investigation showed some top baby foods tainted with significant levels of heavy metals that both the Food and Drug Administration and World Health Organization consider dangerous to human health because they can impact brain development. My wife and I, we bought a lot of baby food for our three kids, and we made two assumptions. One, companies would not sell anything that was unsafe for our babies, and two, that the government would never allow companies to sell unsafe foods. But unfortunately, neither of those assumptions are correct based on our investigation. Congressman Raja Krishnamurthy is overseeing the investigation, which looked at internal documents and testing results dating back to 2017. That data came from four major companies, Happy Baby, Earth's Best, Gerber, and Beech Nut. The company's own materials showed they were all aware arsenic, lead, and cadmium were present in their baby foods. Documents showed the level of heavy metals in some baby food greatly surpassed allowable amounts set by the FDA for bottled water. But because there's no regulation of heavy metals in baby food, companies are expected to essentially police themselves. Does this require federal legislation to actually bring about change. I'd love to think that the companies would phase out problematic ingredients, put labels on their foods, telling us what's in the uh, uh, contents of their food, and also to make sure they test all their finished products. But I have to be realistic. That's why Krishnamurthy and Democratic colleagues in the Senate have proposed the Baby Food Safety Act. It would create a step-down approach to lower exposure to heavy metals by establishing limits that get dropped further and further over the next five years. It would also require companies to test their final products and post the results online. Thanks to the congressional report, parents can see some of that information now, although investigators say Walmart, Campbell's, and Sprout refuse to cooperate. Do you feel like they have an obligation to respond? Yes. And what does it say that they didn't? I think they're taking a nonchalant attitude toward a very serious topic. Although the report said Campbell's, which until recently owned the Plum Organics brand, didn't cooperate, the company refuted that, showing us the internal data they say they shared with Congress, which showed some of their baby food did contain some of the heavy metals the congressional investigation is raising flags about. They say they place safety above all else and emphasize something we've heard from the other companies, that certain heavy metals are naturally present in the environment and we should all work to limit their exposure. We also reached out to every other company named in the report. Those that responded told us safe products are a priority and they're committed to working with the FDA to set future guidelines. Happy Baby specifically disputed the congressional report, calling it inaccurate, saying it used only select data and lacks context, telling us their products are safe and rigorously tested. For now, moms like Maggie Gross say they don't know exactly what's in the food their little ones eat, and that needs to change. I mean, there should be like public service announcements almost I feel about this sort of thing because it's easy to go to the stores and buy those things and again people just have no clue so yeah the FDA definitely needs to step up and do something I'm Josie Sturman for Spotlight on America the FDA says although children are not at immediate risk because of exposure to toxic elements in their food, they're starting work to lower levels now, with the agency explaining it's not possible to get to zero because the metals occur naturally. To read more about their plan and see the responses from the companies involved, go to SpotlightInvestigates.com.